Hi, welcome to the Tarot of Numerology and Astrology for 20th of October 2020. So the 20th boils down to a 2 and the whole date is a number 7. So we have for number 20 in Tarot the Renewal card. So what is it that we need to renew? This card is Mercury and Mercury at the moment is a little bit retrograde. <laughs> so sometimes communications will be a little bit off, but that's okay. Um, it's also in Scorpio. So Mercury in Scorpio, where is that communication? Sometimes it is hidden. So definitely today you're going to perhaps get messages that just hidden, got lost really badly so don't be too surprised about that renewal is also about new beginnings so this has um, been the judgment card in traditional tarot but in modern society it's not that anymore it's about renewing renewing your life and seeing whether things are still applicable now so let go of the old and embrace the newness it's not a judging, it's just self-assessing positive feedback that we need to give yourself. So it's a very healing card as well to embrace. But also because it is a Mercury and the communication, we need to be telling ourselves more positive outlooks than ever before. So if you're thinking you can't do it, um, then where is this opinion coming from? Because the rest of the day, seems really quite good you have number two card in tarot it's the high priestess so the high priestess is very moon like so you've got archangel haniel here here to help you tap into your intuition in a bigger way than ever before so this is a lovely card to embrace so it's gentle and calm so not judging with your mind perhaps and not judging by your heart what you feel it says today judge with your intuition go higher than that tap into your soul purpose journey and even ask your spirit guides now or archangel haniel to help you tap into that intuit intuitive side so when you do that you're not struggling with the renewal some things we have to put to bed so the Scorpio is, is the hidden aspect and the moon is the emotional aspect. But as I say, put the emotions behind and tap into the emotional side. So you can see here that uh, the high priestess, it is the high priestess, not just the priestess, but higher than that. So they're in charge of your life. So if you're in charge of your life, you need to tap into what your soul purpose is. Listen to your soul more. More and more do that. Just tap in. To do that is in stillness and space. So this is a great aspect to look at what the moon means to you, what emotions mean to you. But as I said, have a look. Self-assess. Self-assess what that means. Are you being held back because of the Scorpio moon at the moment? So, not Scorpio moon, sorry, Mercury moon. <laughs> the moon is in Sagittarius, which is a great way to aim for things. So aiming for true spirituality is that really good thing. The moon's 17, 17 degrees um, at the moment, so you haven't got long to enhance that moon phase into aiming what you do want. So always aim for spirituality, and that's a good place to actually aim for. So next we have the whole date of 2010-2020 and it's the chariot. So the chariot is a great aspect to be moving on. So while you're going inside in the, um, the moon phase kind of thing and going into the um, high priestess and self-assessing what you need to let go of, all that self-loathing perhaps, I can't do it. Now is the time when you've done all that to embrace the change. 
see your success as being successful. Balance your life between action and inaction. And the hardness and the softness. So going within is very the chariots being of a cancer sign. So with chariots, it's movement towards your goal. The high priestess is in, in the Sagittarian mode at the moment. So aiming for success is one of those things. So this is a perfect day to look at the renewal, where you're going to aim with the success and then conquer it, especially if it's to do perhaps with your home life. So your home life is very important. It's the springboard of where we react from. We come home every day, hopefully, <laughs> unless you're working away or whatever. So it's the basis, it's the root of where we feel comfortable and safe. And this is a very Cancerian trait. So aim for how you feel comfortable today. Make yourself even more comfortable. Renew something within your home and be comfortable. <laughs> so just ask uh, Archangel Metatron perhaps to help you speed up time, hold time, but definitely renew the time so you'll be able to have more power for the success to come. So that's the um, chariot moving forwards with grace and harmony. So we'll do your little unicorn card seeing as we've got the unicorns in the chariot today. So just moving away from things that don't serve you, if you're in an old relationship, an old job perhaps, and you just want to renew things. It's a great day to tap into your intuition, take the time to tap into your intuition. And when you look at a very earthy um, Virgo in, in Cancer and all the rest of it, it's very essential to be grounded as well. So it's okay to be flighty up in the air with your chariots. <laughs> but sometimes we need to be a little bit more grounded. Okay? Because um, Venus is in Virgo. And so that, that's a very good thing. That's where we want to put our love and attention, isn't it? But let's have a look at the uh, unicorns for you. See what they can tell you today. Right, so this is for everyone to kind of embrace rebirth. You couldn't make that up, could you? So the renewal and rebirth is a very important day. So if some of you have got birthdays, perhaps, this is a great day to look at your solar return, to start again your whole year in, to, in actually seeing what it is that you need to challenge yourself to actually go forwards and I think um, choosing a spiritual side is great because the moon is in Sagittarius Sagittarius is all about aiming so aim for the truth and aim for love okay so thank you guys for listening I'll see you again next time <laughs>